five of selecting in Photoshop, I want to talk about modifying a selection. And there are various ways of doing this, but in this particular video, I'm going to talk about adding and subtracting from a selection. So let's say you've done a basic selection. You've got most of the shape that you want. However, if I zoom in here, I can see there are areas that I've missed. Okay. And I'm just going to use the example of the lasso tool, but this logic is going to apply to any of the selection tools. So if you have an existing selection, which we do, and I'd like to add to it, all you have to do is whatever selection tool you want to use, in this case I'm using the lasso, you're just going to hold down the shift key and a little plus sign is going to appear next to whatever selection tool you've decided to use. And I like using the keyboard shortcuts. Um, so I use shift to add to a selection and alt to remove from a selection or subtract from a selection. You can see a little minus sign appears. Now, Alt will subtract from a selection, Shift will add to a selection. If you're not much of a keyboard shortcut fan, when you have a selection tool activated on your control toolbar at the top, you can actually choose. So this is add, default, adds. there's my plus sign, and this is subtract. So you can actually switch it manually, I just prefer using the keyboard shortcut. So I'm gonna hold down Shift, and then with my selection tool, this part of the turtle here is selected. So if I start on the inside and I were to draw a selection area and let go, nothing's going to happen because that part's already selected. It's already been added. If I start on the inside of the selection and I work my way to the outside, again, with whatever selection tool you want, I'm just going to work my way along the edge of this turtle here. I'm going to come back inside to where I started. And you notice as soon as I let go of my mouse, it adds that to the selection. So simply by holding shift, I can actually add in different areas to the selection. Now, let's say I made a mistake and I'm going to add too much. In this case, I would like to subtract from the selection. So to do that, I'm going to hold Alt. I'm going to start on the outside, work my way to the inside of the selection, let go. Basically, the overlapped area in this case is going to be subtracted. Again, reverse would be shift. The overlapped area is going to be added. And that's how you can modify a selection. And like I said, keep in mind, you can use any of the tools. I can use the magic wand tool. Use that to add to a selection. And this kind of opens up a whole bunch of possibilities. Let me show you just an example. Let's say I made a selection. I'm just gonna do a rectangular mark here around the shape. So I wanna select just this melon here. And the background behind the melon is white. So if I know that I can add and subtract from a selection, well, what if I just got my magic wand tool, held Alt to subtract, and I selected the color white. So I subtracted the color white from my current selection. All of a sudden I have that shape. And this was a basic shape, but it works with even more complex shapes. So in this case, again, I'm gonna get the tool. I'm just gonna minus the background color and there I have the selection. So remember shift is going to add to a selection. So to this selection, I could add one over here. It doesn't even have to be joined or connected. Okay. And alt is going to subtract from the selection. So I can use alt to subtract from the current selection. And that is using any of those selection tools.